The sanctity of this place has been fouled.
Not to get there from here. Stay a while and listen. What ails you, my friend? The village needs your help, good master. Some months ago, King Leoric's son, Prince Albrecht, was kidnapped. The king went into a rage and scoured the village for his missing child. With each passing day, Leoric seemed to slip deeper into madness. He sought to blame innocent townsfolk for the boy's disappearance and had them brutally executed. Less than half of us survived his insanity. The king's knights and priests tried to placate him, but he turned against them and, sadly, they were forced to kill him. With his dying breath, the king called down a terrible curse upon his former followers. He vowed that they would serve him in darkness forever. This is where things take an even darker twist than I thought possible. Our former king has risen from his eternal sleep and now commands a legion of undead minions within the labyrinth. His body was buried in a tomb three levels beneath the cathedral. Please, good master, put his soul at ease by destroying his now cursed form. Oh, what can I do for you? I made many of the weapons and most of the armor that King Leoric used to outfit his knights. 
I even crafted a huge 200 sword of the finest mithril for him, as well as a field crown to match. I oh, still can't believe how he died, but it must have been some sinister force that drove him insane! Look at that edge, that balance! A sword in the right hands, and against the right foe, is the master of all weapons! Its keen blade finds little to hack or pierce on the undead, but against a living, breathing enemy, a sword will better slice their flesh! Greetings, good master. Welcome. If you want to know more about the history of our village, the storyteller Kane knows quite a bit about the past. As I told you, good master, the king was entombed three levels below. He's down there, waiting in the putrid darkness for his chance to destroy this land. Hello, my friend. Stay a while. Oh, Jillian is a fine woman, much adored for her high spirits and her quick laugh. She holds a special place in my heart. She stays on at the tavern to support her elderly grandmother, who is too sick to travel. I sometimes fear for her safety, but I know that any man in the village would rather die than see her harmed. Ah, the story of our king, is it? The tragic fall of Leoric was a harsh blow to this land. The people always loved the king, and now they live in mortal fear of him. The question that I keep asking myself is how he could have fallen so far from the light, as Leoric had always been the holiest of men. Only the vilest powers of hell could so utterly destroy a man from within. What ails you, my friend? Griswold knows as much about the art of war as I do about the art of healing. He is a shrewd merchant, but his work is second to none. Oh, I suppose that may be because he's the only blacksmith left here. The loss of his son was too much for King Leoric. I did what I could to ease his madness, but in the end, it overcame him. A black curse has hung over this kingdom from that day forward. But perhaps, if you were to free his spirit from his earthly prison, the curse would be lifted. Time to fellow drink in peace? <laughs> I like Pepper. He really tries, you know. Listen here, you should make sure you get to know him. Good fellow like that with people always wanting help. Hey, I guess I'd be kind of like you, huh? Hero? I was a hero, too. I don't care about that. Listen, no skeleton is going to be my king. Leoric is king. King! So you hear me? Hail to the king! I sense a soul in search of and though the heat of the sun is beyond measure, the mi- the dead who walk among the living follow the cursed king. He holds the power to raise yet more warriors for an ever-growing army of the undead. If you do not stop his reign, he will surely march across this land and slay all who still live here.
now is all I can do. Good day! Our blacksmith is a point of pride to the people of Tristram. Not only is he a master craftsman who has won... I don't like to think about how the king died. I like to remember him for the kind and just ruler that he was. His death was so sad and seemed very wrong somehow. Here over! Psst! Chamber Butcher, the From Spell Portal Town, the cast! Saying, am I what see? Get out it figured you haven't! Understand, could you even so simple it make to try die? Chamber Butcher, the From Spell Portal Town, the cast! Look, I'm running a business here. I don't sell information, and I don't care about some king that's been dead longer than I've been alive. If you need something to use against this king of the undead, then I can help you out. Whatever she needs, too. Eek gets her hands on more merchandise than I've seen pass through the gates of the King's Bazaar during High Festival. Well, what can I do for you? I was with Farnham that night that Lazarus led us into the labyrinth. I never saw the Archbishop again, and I may not have survived if Farnham was not at my side. I fear that the attack left his soul as crippled as, well, another did my leg. I cannot fight this battle for him now, but oh, I would if I could. Greetings, good master. Welcome to the Tavern of the Rod- What is talking backwards again? Oh, I hate it when he does that. I don't have time to help you decipher his riddle, but I will tell you one thing. Don't get involved with that rapscallion. If you want to know more... Hello, my friend. Stay a while. You must have been speaking with Wirt. His is a sad story indeed. That poor child was taken into the labyrinth by the demons, ripped from the very arms of his mother, Canus. May her soul rest in peace. The boy managed to escape but only after they had chewed off his leg. And he has not been quite sane since. He often speaks in riddles, but his knowledge of the labyrinth may hold some truth. Can a fellow drink in peace? <laughs> no, you can't let me go back there. I won't let you take me. Too much pain. Too many dead. <laughs> can't get the blood out of my eyes. Oh, my mouth. <laughs> what ails you, my friend? I suppose it isn't beyond the realm of possibility if you could bear being in that room again. Your description of the atrocities committed there would be enough to keep me far from it. Good day. How may I serve you? How could you even think of going back to that place? What could be so important? I 
I sense a soul in search of ants. The lair of the butcher is steeped in demonic power, and casting any spell of passage there could cause unexpected results. I sense a soul in search of answers. for you. Where would I put this? Where would I put this? Not enough mana. I cannot carry any more. I have no room. I cannot 
get there from here. I cannot get there from here. There from here. <coughs> I have no room. <coughs> I cannot carry any more. I cannot get there from here. Where would I put this? there from here. I cannot use this yet. My friend, stay a while and listen. Well, what can I do for you? I sense a soul in search of answers.
cannot get there from here. I cannot get there from here. Peace. <laughs> 
My friend, stay a while and listen. What can I do for you? What ails you, my friend? Sends a soul in search of answers. <laughs> 